Hi everyone, this is Dane Olson from Backcountry Access. I'm a customer service and sales representative here at the Boulder office. Here I have the Float 27 speed and here's the Float 17 speed. These are the two colors that the models come in. We're really excited to bring a new Float 2.0 system to the market. This new system is gonna be able to be 20% smaller and 20% lighter than the current 1.0 system. Now, the more efficient ejector that we've come up with has allowed our cylinder here to be reduced by 30%, which has allowed for the reduction in the size of the system in general. Also, just the features of the pack being slimmed down a bit, as well as the materials that we use. The new 2.0 system allows for us to maximize packable space inside the pack by limiting the guts of the actual airbag system into the airbag compartment. At five and a half pounds, or roughly 2,500 grams, these two packs are designed for the weight conscious users. Our 17 here is designed more for those short tours close to the road, or maybe an extended day outside the boundaries of the resort. Whereas our 27 is designed for those big vert days, or just getting up high in the Alpine and trying to limit as much weight as you possibly have. The features of these two speed packs are mostly identical. On the front here, we have diagonal ski carry options, utilizing this strap down here at the bottom. This adjusts for catching the ends of your bindings. And then we have another strap up here at the top. Diagonal ski carry option and a ladder lock here to prevent this strap from loosening up at all on you. Also included on the outside of the pack here are some very versatile gear loop mounts that you can utilize the Velcro straps that are included with the pack or possibly a Volet ski strap. These are very useful for carrying your ice tools or any kind of extra gear that you want to carry on the outside of the pack. Also, you'll see we have compression straps on both sides, which can be utilized to help really tighten down the pack and reduce the swing weight if it's not fully packed or if you do want to utilize this for carrying any extra gear as well. The slim down waist belt on these packs includes a nice gear loop here for when you're doing any glacier travel or need any extra climbing hardware. Additionally, we have what's included on all of our float packs is the leg harness. This is utilized to keep the pack on you in the case of an avalanche. Uh, you don't want that pack to ride up or potentially be lifted off your body. So using this loop every time you're out in avalanche terrain is very important. Included on the side of the hip belt as well is a nice elastic pocket to store this leg harness away when not in use as well as a nice carabiner loop here in the case that you prefer using a carabiner for uh, strapping the leg harness on or when you're taking it off rather than uh, utilizing it through the waist belt itself. Flipping the pack around, you'll see that this pack, although slimmed down to help cut weight, still does include dual zippered shoulder sleeves. And uh, these sleeves are nice and big, so you're able to keep your BC Link radio zipped up when not in use and out of the elements. But when you do need it, these uh, nice big sleeves allow for the BC Link and potentially even your hydration reservoir hose to come through here as well. And this would be always on the opposite side of where your trigger is. Here we have our trigger and it can fully be stowed away as well when not in use, which is important when traveling to prevent any kind of false deployments. Also, we have a nice adjustable sternum strap here equipped with a whistle. And then you'll see a nice ergonomic back panel that has some nice padding, but also some spacing to allow for a little bit of airflow as well. Now we'll uh, check out the inside of the pack. Down here at the bottom next to our ski carry strap, we have uh, a nice loop here that can be utilized for carrying an ice axe. And then utilizing one of these gear loops here, we can hold that axe in place. Taking a look at the inside of the pack here, we have our airbag compartment, which now contains the cylinder itself, the airbag and all the plumbing as far as the hoses and the cables to deploy the airbag. Also, these, all these parts are completely removable, so on days where you don't feel like you need to have the airbag with you and you want to further reduce the weight, the, all these parts and pieces are completely removable. If you look inside the main compartment now, you'll see there's no longer any of those hoses or the cylinder. This is all complete packable space, 
And we also threw in a nice gear loop here for your BC linker radio, as well as some attachment points for a hydration reservoir. If you look at the opposite side of the main compartment, we have designated sleeves for your shovel handle, probe and shovel blade, uh, maybe a small first aid kit as well. Also is a nice small mesh pocket for small items, keep those organized and uh, out of the way of some of the bigger things that you might throw in the main compartment here. So that's it for the Float 27 and 17 2.0 speed packs. If you like going light and fast, these two packs are your key to the summit. Thanks for watching.